Oh my life. Look at all of this. What have we got? We got steam in there. I said about digging down to find out what's going on. I think we're finding out what's going on. We've got lots of heat. Oh man, alive. We need to heat protect our base well in today's episode of surviving on the lava planet we are going to try and dig down as far as we can we've got some lava and magma down here i want to check out and be sure to check out the link below get 33 percent off if you buy auction not included right now and we're going to dig up as high as we can and see if we can get up to this cool steam vent that is the plan also after reading the comments on the last episode i realized i made a mistake in the way that i set this up i would always know normally have a gap either side of the ladder to help with airflow so i think what i'm going to actually do is just spend a few minutes off camera moving everything this side over a couple of blocks so i can have a gap each side of the ladder and i'm going to do the same on this side as well and then i will be back with you oh i also discovered which i didn't realize that these now output uh, polluted water which is putting polluted oxygen up into the atmosphere here which isn't very good and that probably affected our ration box so i've got this little area down here where it's just carbon dioxide so i am going to put one of these and there we go down here and move this one or empty the contents out of there into there and i think we will stop getting the food poisoning which is very good oh we've completed our research of interior decor fantastic so what options does that give us let's just have a quick look down here which i believe is where it is yeah so we're now we're going to get flower pots lamps and ceiling lights so we'll look into setting that up once i've finished redoing all of my stuff here oh you didn't like that food did you Yeah, we've gone full on priority nines to get this project complete. <laughs> I think that's good. There we go. We've got a bigger gap down this side. I'm going to do something similar over here as well. Uh, we need somewhere to empty out the polluted water because at the moment we're sort of putting polluted oxygen into our area. I mean, we've got this over here, but I mean, if we could dig over here and get to that without getting in any of the germs, we could pop that in there. Yeah, it's full of polluted oxygen. I'm a bit worried with the sort of doors and stuff that we've got at the moment. There's a vacuum over here. We could sort of dig through. I don't know. I think maybe we'll leave that for the moment because we do have a lot of normal oxygen. We're doing okay on that front at the moment. Oh, we've got something else that's turned up. Let's take a look at what we can have. A care package, a snazzy suit. Oh, increases decor. And then three more people. Now, I do think we could do with another person. Well, who should we have? Okay, Gossman is going to be the choice. We're going to choose Gossman. But I want to get a bedroom sorted out first. And we're just sort of still rearranging different things here. So, yeah, maybe we'll come back to him in a moment. Okay, let's get Gossman in. We've got some beds. Come and join us. You're printed. And a skill point has been earned. So let us assign that. Animal husbandry. I think that is something that we certainly want to work our way down. Let's have a look. So we're going to give him the farming skill and then work into ranching. So we can start collecting up some of these dupes that we have around the place. Oh, very happy, very happy. I do want to still get rid of this up here <laughs> so we can move that around. But there we go. We've got some beds down there and we've cleaned up this room. How about that? We've got space all over the place now for oxygen to move around. Oh, I need to deconstruct uh, that tile and that tile there. There we go. 
Let's just put those on a night. Oh, they're going to get them done already. My dupes are so good. Let's pop the last ladder in. Excellent. That's good. Things can move around fantastically. And we'll open this up at some point. A couple more skill points. Oh, what should we do? Hassan. Hassan's been working down the researching. So we're going to give him field research. But does that make a difference now to... Yeah. Nope, that's fine. We'll do that one. And Frankie, you've been working down farming. So we'll get you doing crop tending excellent and then we need to make sure we pick a new research as we don't have one going at the moment i'd like to start working getting into the farming and ranching and all that sort of thing so we're going to get meal preparation going and see how that works out which is good and we also need to find somewhere to put this polluted water that is my priority now for the next day okay this is what we're going to go for here we're going to have this little tank down the bottom here and we've also got some new lights and things like that now these algae terrain Aquariums will work better if we have lights above them. 10% boost in direct light. So I'm just thinking maybe we could pop a ceiling light up here. There we go. And that would cover... I mean, that would cover all of this area here. If we just pop one there, that would be fantastic. So I'm going to get that one hooked up. And then while they're doing that, I'm also getting them to build this box down here. This is where our polluted water is going to go. At some point, we'll have some special doors to keep out the nasty oxygen but yeah we have plenty of oxygen being made up here to push that back and then i'm going to open this up as well i think once i've got these set up maybe got another one in here yeah i'm going to open this up and start clearing out all of this co2 there we go excellent what is our wire doing it is doing perfectly fine and that should work much better. Ashcan, you're going to do plus two on your cuisine. Thank you very much. Oh, we have a colony achievement. What is that? Wow. Use a duplicate skill points to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. Oh, I see. We've done it there. Look, we've gone down this whole branch. I see. I see. That is fantastic. What other things can we aim for? Oh, there's lots of other things I think we're going to end up working towards as we go through the game. Yeah, we'll cover those when we get there. Okay, I'm aware that we've got 1,000 kilograms of algae. I actually want to just get rid of this thing up here, and then it can all get put into there. Please do that immediately. And then we need our water cooler room built again. We've sort of lost the space over there, but... We might just put that somewhere else. Oh, you were very pleased at digging that out, weren't you? We're going to find another spot, maybe over here for that. How's our oxygen going? We want to make sure there's plenty of oxygen in that room. I might just end up moving that down here at some point. Please do not dig yourself into a hole and get yourself trapped. Maybe do the ladders first. I'm going to put the ladders on an eight. Just because you know how dopey dupes can be. I like the way they're having pleasant chit-chat with each other. That's really cool. Ah, oh, get on. Be friends. While they're working on that, we just have another printable that's turned up. Let's just take a look what we've got. Some Mirth Leafs. I don't think we've used the last ones that we've got. Uh, Meep, Turner and Catalina. Operative Farming Research. Pacifist, Biohazard, Narcoleptic. We've already got a Narcoleptic. Good at cooking, though. Farming, Supply, Ranching. You're pretty good. Uncultured. Cannot do decorating. Patch. You know what? Let's have Catalina. Come and join us. We have beds. You have skills. That is what we need. Oh, we've got hats that we can assign. Improve cooking one hat. Hassan, you're a researcher. You can have field research hats. Oh, look at that. Frankie, you're a farmer. You can have crop tending hats. Love it. Lindsay, you're a tidier and a plumber. You can have your plumbing hats. Gossman, improve farming one hat. And Catalina, what are you going to do? Hey, you're going to be a carrier. Does that mean you get a hat? No, not yet. Oh, yeah, improve carrying one. You do get a cap. Is everyone going to stick their hats on? Ah, oh, look, you're printed. You've got a hat. 
You got it. They've all got their hats. Look at that. It's a happy hat day. <laughs> Right, they've nearly finished this. I'm making them pick up all this stuff before we set this bottle emptier to empty the liquids of the polluted water, which is going to make this a nasty little place. But I'm hoping that with all of the... Yeah, the CO2 is going to come out and go down here. So we certainly need to get this ramped up a bit. And we've got plenty of oxygen. I'm really pleased with that. So I'm just going to dig this bit down. Yeah, and start getting these guys to work at getting rid of this carbon dioxide as well. I'm just a little bit worried at the amount of polluted oxygen that we're getting floating around the place. Um... Yeah, I would like to work our way down to... Let's have a look over here. Yeah, the decontamination. It's three sets of research. But if we power through that and get this, we've got tons of sand. Plus, that will give us the, the airlocks and the airflow tiles and all that sort of thing. Which I think would definitely be worth working towards after we've got the one that we're working on up here. The meal preparation. So, yeah, let's see how we do with that. I think we've got the last couple of items here that are going to be swept up. And then we can start putting all of our nasty oxygen producing stuff in here. Our nasty polluted water. Which will be good. That's going to keep this area a bit cleaner. I think we're still okay on germs. As long as we don't get any germs into our base, we're going to be fine. But we do have, like I said, plenty of oxygen. So that will get rid of germs. So I think we're doing okay. We're nearly there. Yay! Excellent. So let's set this to polluted water and i'm gonna put it on an eight and then we'll just let everybody what, what is that on that's all on a five so let's just up that to a seven get all that opened up this is on a six so somebody's doing that there we go fantastic so that's going to start being picked up from there and everywhere good i'm just deliberately picking all of this stuff up quick and i know there's a hatch in there and i don't want him eating it so i want to get all the stuff that i can and save it all look at all this lovely algae in here we're definitely going to grab all of that as well right now we've let this carbon dioxide free we can see it's sort of heading up a bit here i am thinking about adding in another oxygen diffuser say down here somewhere because we have plenty of algae and I think that might help. So, yeah, let me plug that in. And we've got plenty of power. So, you know, why not? Oh, I really want to give them somewhere to eat. They're, like, eating all of their food down there. Do we actually have that yet? No, we don't. That's coming up in our next research, isn't it? Oh, the poor little people. Yeah, a mess table. What do we need to make a mess room? Let's have a look at that while we're waiting. Mess hall. So, just mess table. Nothing else. Get extra morale boost. Well... I mean, then the morale isn't going down, so that's not a huge worry. Minimum size 12. So I was thinking of this area over here. We could definitely make that into a mess hall. And it's not too far from where the food is being stored as well. So, yep, hopefully that is a good idea. I'm just wondering if they can't destroy this because there's no tile underneath it. Oh, no, I don't want a yellow alert. Sorry. Oh, we have a hatchling egg. They keep dropping these eggs. That's fantastic. Also got this hatch down here eating our stuff. So <laughs> I'm going to grab all of this as well. Oh, the priority nines. So many of them. Ooh, blossom seeds. Now, what do we know about those? Oxygen, polluted oxygen, carbon dioxide. So that would be fine down here. Temperature 5 to 30. That's fine. Air pressure 150. Well, we could definitely do that, couldn't we? So I think if we just clear out this little area here above our planters, we've only got one, but we might as well get it planted and start that going. So the decor is pretty terrible. Yeah, we probably could do something about that. Hmm. And we need bigger batteries as well. We're running out of batteries, aren't we? I'm going to stick another little battery in there and connect that up with a wire. And hopefully, this guy's going to keep going. Ooh, what have we got? What do we got? Curative tablets. 
Oh, do you know what? That might be quite good because I don't think we need another person at the moment. Two doctors, or we haven't got any facilities and a tidier. I'm going to take the tablets. Definitely. There we go. They're going to be put away already. Look at that. Where are they being taken to? Where are you taking the tablets? Oh, they get stored in with the food, do they? Medicine. Oh, fair enough. That's good. So if anything comes up again, that could be quite uh, that could be quite handy. Right. Can we pop that on a nine for now? Thank you very much, Catalina. Much appreciated. And you keep going until all the batteries are charged up. No, don't drop your food on the floor. But you have... No. Oh, it's probably because they can't breathe. I don't know why they're eating down there. Oh, no. That food is going to be... Oh. Emitting polluted oxygen. <laughs> Pollution exposure. And then someone's going to eat it. No. Oh, this is covered in pollution as well. Uh, can we disinfect it? Get get disinfecting that. Disinfect the building. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, no. Food poisoning. Although it doesn't say up there. I think we're doing okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, all the germs are gone. Excellent. Um, so I'm having a big sweep, a big clean at the moment. We're, like, getting everything we can to put it away. Tidy everything up. And then we're going to build this room over here, hopefully, when the research is done. But I just wanted to get the decor up because it's just so bad everywhere. Particularly with all this dirt in the bedrooms and stuff like that. So that is the idea. Oh, there we go. They're digging this out for us. Let's get that blossom seed planted. I'm going to put it on a nine just so we can get it in and get it growing because it's going to take a while otherwise. There we go. Excellent. Irrigation illumination. No, it needs light. Oh, I didn't realize. How is our power doing? We could put another light over here. Just like another little ceiling light. Fantastic. There we go. And these don't mind the light. Cool. And then if we get any more, we can add them in there. Research complete. Nice. We'll have a look at what new stuff we've got. Do we need to go down this route down here now to get the stuff for cleaning up the things? Oh, there's so much. Yeah, I'm going to work down the decontamination route. Hopefully that won't take too long. Oh, we need the extra research table. No. Advanced research. Supercomputer. Skill scrubber. Darn it. Let's do that first then. There we go. Now producing double the amount of oxygen. And these will stop when it reaches a pressure of I'm not quite sure what. Do you know what? Heat is something else I, I don't think I've looked at for ages. Yeah, we're doing all right. Heat's fine. I mean, this is like, oh my life. Look at all of this. All that. What have we got? We've got steam in there. We've got all this lava down here. I said about digging down to find out what's going on. I think we're finding out what's going on. We've got lots of heat. And it's spreading into this area. Oh, man, alive. We need to heat protect our base. Because what's this? 88. Let's just look at this block here. 30, 29, 32, 30, 29. All right. It seems to be battling against the heat at the moment. But, oh, we've got to be so careful. What do we have? Mess tables, flower pots. Uh, egg cracker, electric grill, farm tiles. Now, we had the mirth leaves for the farm tiles, didn't we? So maybe we'll take a look at that. But I want to just build them somewhere to eat because our poor dupes, they're just like eating all over the floor. And I just don't think that's very fair. We have all oh, getting a bit of stress. Yeah, so it's going to help with that as well. So let us build a nice little room in here. And we'll put in our mess tables. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that's going to help. Let's check whether we're getting the room bonus. Mess hall, morale bonus. Excellent. So hopefully now when they come and eat, let's just get them to clean up all this junk as well. There we go. There we go. Get the decor up as much as possible. Nine, 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 nine. Yay. And they can all come and eat. So let, next time... What is this guy here? A morb. Oh, and he's going to be outputting nasty germs, isn't he? Darn it. Right, we've got our next research. We're powering through that. So let's get down here. Good, good, good. Uh, but of course, that means 
uh, we need to do another station. A supercomputer, of course. Is that pretty big? That is pretty big. Fortunately, it's just made with copper. So we can easily do that. I don't know how our power system is going to fare, though. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Who's got another skill? Gossman. So what are you going to do? What are you good at? You could take the two routes of tending or ranching. So you've got three in cuisine, two in agriculture, one in husbandry. Okay. And then Frankie was the other one. You've got a five in agriculture. So Gossman is going to go down the ranching route. Yeah, most definitely. And we probably can change your hat as well. No, you can have the same hat. Surely you get another choice. Yes, you do. A critter ranching hat. Lovely. Well done, Ashcan. Get that toilet cleaned. How's it going over here? Oh, we need to dig this out, of course, don't we? Let's get this dug out. There we go. And then they can get in there and start doing that for us. Oh, downtime. Let's have a look at our storage. Oh, man, we're filling up. This thing just won't get removed. I really think it's because we need underneath a tile. And I bet as soon as I do that, let's deconstruct that and build a tile that we'll be able to empty it. Oh, Gossman, using the room to eat, even though he didn't really enjoy the food. That's fantastic. And we've got a nice amount of oxygen in there. Ideally, I want this all oxygen and my CO2 no higher than that there. So we can sort of work on that as we go along if we need more algae terrariums and things. We will see. Ah, oh, you've removed the ladder. Let's put the block in on a nine and then get this thing emptied and moved. Wow, we are filling up our storage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, let's just put... Uh, whoops. Let's just put a couple more in over here. There we go. Look, they're emptying it. Well, they're getting stuff out of it anyway. Yay, research complete. Empty that thing. Empty it. Yeah, oh, everyone's clapping. All so excited about stuff. That's what we like to see. Right, I'm going to get this one to be deconstructed on a nine. Yeah, deconstructed. Everything's dumped on the floor. Excellent. And then we can sweep that all up. And our base is going to be the nicest base we've ever had. So I'm just going to make sure that meal lice is not on the edible food list because these are starting to grow and we're going to harvest these and get some meal lice. I don't want them to be eaten. I want them to be saved and then cooked in a microbe musher to make the better food. The Ooh, tote food. <laughs> to make lice loaf. That's what we're hopefully going to be aiming for. Who do we have in the printing pod today? Oh, a shine nymph. Oh, they're cool. I like those. Some more people cooking researching cooking oh i don't know i'm gonna think about that one let me know in the comments below who you think we should have to join us out of these four i'll be interested to see what you think yay our next research is complete so i think now we are working on yeah the top level of this research here the novice research and then we need to get our advanced research machine built so we can do the second load of research on here as well and i've just noticed that is also going to give us <gasps> the carbon skimmer to get carbon dioxide out of the air and we've got all this water we've got all this water we've got water over here we've got of course the water from the cool steam vent so we're going to start getting that going as well that is going to be absolutely fantastic. And the temperature is creeping up. Right, I'm going to use, as a, a metric of how things are going, the temperature of this block. So it's 28 degrees. And we are going to keep an eye on that. It's 28.1. I'm making a note on that. And see whether it drastically goes up. We will find out. So I'm going to get the guys and girls to dig out this room here. We are going to turn this into our water cooler room. Let's just put some of those on there. We do have enough oxygen. There we go. Plenty of oxygen. CO2 is at this level here. So yeah, we're going to stick our water cooler in there. That is going to be the plan. If anyone comes along and does that work, that would be fantastic. Uh, these require empty in there. On an eight, I probably got... Far too many priority eights going on at the moment. Yeah, what a surprise. So we'll we'll see what they do for... There we go. Look, they're emptying them for us. Excellent. Well done, folks. Well done. Oh, excellent. They're getting our second research station going. The supercomputer, which I'm worried about my power. Max wattage 1,000. We'll see what that takes. I can't remember, to be honest. Actually, it probably says in here. Let's have a look. Supercomputer takes whoops uh 120 watts yeah we're perfectly fine frankie falling asleep again okay at least that's gonna get done that is good 
And we've got all this algae over here. Fantastic amounts of algae. Oh, I've got more water over there. And I still want to start digging up. We haven't done that yet. So get over to the cool steam vent and unlock that. But Oh, there we go. Supercomputer is now done. What are our computers on? Nine. I'm just going to sort of drop that down a bit, you know. I'm going to put that on eight and eight. I just think that's a little bit too much. Having, having nines on things that we don't necessarily need nines on. We'll save the nines for when we really, really want to get stuff done. There we go. Look, we'll put these down to a seven. No, no one's, like, harvesting these at all. Nine on the food for sure. And I think actually nine on the power for sure. And then apart from that, we'll just let them get on with their own stuff. They really hate the food, don't they? They really do. I love it. <laughs> scrub their tongue when they're finished. Look. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Oh, we've got one more millwood seed. Let's get that in there. Anything else interesting? No. At least we can get one more millwood seed going. That'll be good. And start getting these going. And maybe upgrade our food. Food poisoning. No. Germ covered muck root. Oh, skill points. Skill points. Skill points. Who's got the skill point? Catalina. We're going to get you up to improve carrying too. We're going to change your hat for the orange one. Very cool. Very cool. Don't eat down there. Eat up. Eat. Oh, another colony achievement. Let's let's play. What is it? They got better. Cure a sick duplicant of disease. Fantastic. Oh, work on the supercomputers ongoing. Here we go. That's just what we want to see. Not this little. This little pecking bird up here makes me laugh. <laughs> Love it. Aha, here we go. The room is being cleared out. So let us get some... Oh, we've actually got the manual airlocks now. I forgot about that. Well, that's good. Well, I'm going to put these on here anyway. There we go. And then we'll do the same here. The reason I do this, it just lets the air flow through the doors much, much quicker. Polluted oxygen. Don't worry, we're dealing with that soon. And then we're going to put our water cooler in here as well, which is... Oh, we can put flower pots. Really try and make this place look nice. Let's have a couple of flower pots. We'll have a ceiling light and a water cooler over here. It doesn't quite all line up correctly, but we'll go that side. And then we'll see how that looks afterwards. Have we got some stuff we can plant? Oh, we've got the mirth seeds. There was benefits to those, wasn't there? Increases decor, contribution to morale. Aha. Uh -huh. Brian seeds. Let's go with the mirth seeds. Why not? We'll plant one of those. Whoa, research complete. Yes. Uh, let's hook up the power and then we'll see what we've got. We'll have that go that way. Thank you very much. So let's check out the new things that we have. Me mechanized airlock. Excellent. We wanted those. Deodorizer, we definitely wanted those. I am going to put one of these smack bang down here. We're going to get that thing done. We're going to assign the skill point to Hassan up to astronomy. Now, we don't need that yet. We're going to give him the hard digging upgrade as well. So we can be our scientist and in between he can have the digging skill. And yet, there we go. We've got the recreation room, which gives a morale bonus. So they can go and hang out in there. Excellent. When they're doing their relaxing time. Oh, that light really is not lined up with that light, is it? <laughs> I need to sort that out. What do you think to our progress so far? Who are we going to pick from the printing pod? I've restarted the game and it's changed. No way! Look at who we've got in there. And some lava egg for Slicksters. <gasps> wow, that could be pretty good. We could start getting ourselves some oil. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to check the link in the description as well for 33% off purchasing oxygen not included. And I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.